Well, it looks like I'm going to be able to commentate on to 1,500 players right now, about 1,550, actually 1,553 versus 1,529. They're currently deciding on who will go first. Um, I'm not sure what the pause is. Um, waiting. All right, so the red player decides to go first. Go with the pot of greed icon. Okay, so off to main one. It starts off immediately. All right, it looks like we've got some e dragons going right now. It immediately goes into the possible. Tempest Summon. It actually goes into the Tidal Summon right now. And with the Banish on both of them, just summon the Redox. Which will also get him the Tempest Search, actually. I believe this is a game two. I was not necessarily aware when I went into it. But um if he if he's fearing the virus, that would mean he's possibly Spillbooks right now. So he actually just goes into Draco Sack, so it's not a dark, so he can't sack it to the virus. Actually, just sacks both tokens into Light and Darkness Dragon. Oh, sweet baby. Okay. So he's got about 5,400 damage on board with a lot of negating with Light and Darkness Dragon. So... This is going to be rather hard to get around. Um, yeah. Light and Darkness Dragon's kind of a monster. So, just kind of sits on board and destroys your face for a little bit. Um, exactly 500 attack and defense. Not 499, not 500. Exactly 500. Text. It looks like he's just setting two. If this is spellbooks, he definitely has to be scared because you can't, um. Yeah. You can't search because nothing in spellbooks really chains together. So it would negate pretty much everything, um. at a time. So. I just go for the spellbook of judgment. That'll get negated. So it'll be 500 attacks, so it'll be a 2300 attacker now. Um, just goes for another set. It will be game next turn if he has no response. And that, I believe that card still has 3 or 4 negates in it. 4. It has 4 negates left. He's going to have to start fodding things too eventually. Yep, yep. Okay, so outs that the spellbook player could have right now would probably be fodding something like um, the spellbook tower, maybe a secret. Um, he needs to fod something pretty much right now. Um, he can't just sit on defenses, that won't win him the game. But uh, Light and Darkness Dragon is, Light and Darkness Dragon is a monster to get around, so. Alright, goes immediately to battle phase, swings in with the 2300 beater that is Light and Darkness Dragon. It doesn't, it doesn't activate. Oh, actually, it does, it does activate. I'm completely wrong here, that's why I'm special summon. Okay, so Light and Darkness Dragon negated the spell condition of Prophecy's effect. It is now an 1800 beat stick. So, now Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer can actually attack into Light and Darkness Dragon to destroy it. And he actually won't be able to defend it because it negates everything. So, um, yeah. Which would actually be a little bit of a plus to the E Dragon player because if that actually does happen, he can use um, his back row again. Okay, he does have the Kaiku to get around the Light and Darkness Dragon, but it actually only goes even with it, so it doesn't necessarily go like a huge plus here for him. So, I'm guessing the, um, spellbook player doesn't have many, wait, what? 
Oh yes, I completely forgot about that. When this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, target one monster in your graveyard. If possible, destroy all cards you control. Also, special summon that monster, if any. Okay, so he special summons a Redox. He will actually return to his hand at end of turn. And so if he has another Earth, he may be able to use the effect. I'm not actually sure if you can special summon Lightning Dark. I'm pretty sure you can't, but if you can, he may end up going for it here. So he used another Spellbook of Judgment, that'll be a second one. And he used a Star Hall with it to get one stack on it. Um, if he doesn't have something like a Spellbook of Secrets right now, uh, this could be bad. Um, yeah. Um, doesn't look like our Spellbook player has many cards right now, or we could be thinking. But generally, if you have the Spellbook of Secrets, you'll just go straight into it. Um, he may have Books of the Crescent, which would be pretty bad right now, because that card is completely offline. Um, so it looks like he's only going for the one. He had no secrets, so he's actually searching for it in end phase. Um, Alright, so the Dragon player has five, six cards in hand right now, against three set cards, but generally against um, a dragon deck, you don't really have to worry about the sets. And he doesn't need to go in for the um, exceed summons right now. So I think right now he can just summon two normal dragons, go in for swings, and probably have game. Because uh, that deck tends not to run those. But he goes into the Draco sack anyway, gets solemn judgmented. He didn't need to go into that. That could possibly cost him game here. Um... Uh, s uh, draw. Okay, he has another summon anyway. Tech, it didn't really matter. Um, if he didn't have that summon though, it possibly could have been a throw. Uh, he had it anyway. It didn't really matter. So light and darkness dragon definitely carried him straight through that because of the negates negating pretty much all of the spellbook players early game. Uh, just goes to show the power of that card and that no one really plays it much anymore, but still very good, still very good.